Smoke ever since I was a kid. I always remember smoking, you know. One time I remember I was a little kid, I was like eight years old, and I was behind my garage, I was sneaking a cigarette back there, and my dad caught me, I'll never forget it. His big head came around the corner of the garage. There it was, my dad's big head. And then his body, right after it, there was his body. Trailing his head as it often would. And he grabbed me, and he hauled me in, and I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? What he did is he pulled out his giant cigar. Must have been half the size of my arm, this big cigar. Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it all the way through, right to the end. That's when I started smoking cigars real heavy. <laughs> that plan backfired on him. Then there was another time I remember, now that I'm thinking about it, I was behind the garage again, as luck would have it. And uh, this time I was smoking a big fat joint back there. And uh, don't do drugs. <laughs> and... Uh, my dad's big head showed up again. And there's no body this time, just a big head. That was the funny part. You like to mix it up like that, you know? So anyways, he grabbed me there with his teeth and he hauled me in. And uh, I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know, but uh, injected me with heroin. So it was... He was a strict man, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but you gotta quit smoking, that's all I know, man. You gotta quit smoking. It's not all I know, I know other things too, but it'd uh, be a kind of a wasted life if that's all I combed out of a dare. But, <laughs> but uh, you gotta quit smoking, because otherwise you get old and then unhealthy, you know? You see a lot of that, you know? Although some guys don't. You ever see those old guys? Doesn't matter what the hell they do to themselves, they just grow old anyway, you know? Meet a guy, be the oldest bastard you ever met, you know? Just does everything wrong, you know. Every day, I smoke four packs of cigarettes. I drink a bottle of Jack Daniels, and I hit myself in the head with a shovel every goddamn day. <laughs> I'd like to die. <laughs> God, I'd love to die. I... One time, I put a shotgun in my mouth, and blew the whole goddamn back of my head out there. And... Just a slight ringing in the ears. <laughs> Can't die. Ten dollars to smoke. I'll smoke it for you. If yep. you no, no, right. no, I'm trying. Sure. To, I'm, I just figured it would be rude not to offer you a light. It's nice, but I'm trying not to. And I feel if I <laughs> sitting there with a cigarette. Was, oh, I feel if I, you know, I took one puff. I have an oral fixation. My doctor tells me, which is not good. <laughs> How did he know that? I was sucking his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was sucking his cock. You're a friend of Andrew Dice Clay. I, I used to have it. When you used to do the Drew Carey. What? Give him a chance. No, no listen, before he, uh, there, there was a, Craig, um, Craig used to be on a show called the Drew Carey Show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did the show right next door. You had yeah, the, the, yeah, the Norm yeah, McDonald yeah, show yeah, yeah. right next door. And then I, I remember uh, you were like, I, we had trailers and I'd always be in my trailer. I, I like to go to my trailer and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then you'd be in your trailer and you'd be writing movies and then directing movies and then yeah. you'd be writing books. Yeah, yeah. It was because I, I was trying to not smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but people, people are waylaid by your, uh, by your laid-back image. They don't realize what a furnace of ambition you are. Hey, that's true. I am. I'm, I zig when they zag. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It. It's a, listen, it's, it's good. You don't smoke anymore. You look, uh, like, healthy. You, oh, you no, smoking? I quit smoking. Yeah, I, I read that on the side of the thing. <laughs> what did you say? Is it dangerous? It's, yeah, it's, it can kill you. No! Yeah, I realized like I was smoking all the time, and uh, it, it's like um, it's like uh, you smoke and you don't even get high. And uh, well, you can't, you can't. It's, they're not mutually exclusive. You can get high and smoke. It's uh, not like you, you have the, to make a choice. No, I'm saying the yeah. cigarettes do not. Uh, oh, get you high. Yeah. Well, you can. There's a, there's a substance you can put in them though, if you want. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't do drugs or alcohol. Or Neither do like I. That. You used to be. I thought you were an alcoholic. All afternoon, uh, as we do this, uh, you, you've been playing on yeah. and off with a cigarette. Do, do, you, do you smoke? I quit smoking a year ago. Good for you. Thank you. You quit smoking? Yeah. 
And uh, you, when you smoke at the Tomorrow Show... We puffed. We didn't smoke. We puffed. You probably caused many children to start smoking. So you hold a cigarette and you never light it. Yes, it helps me. I have an oral fixation, the doctors tell me. That never... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like uh, Beretta. Yeah. So are you... Uh, you're a smoker then? No, I'm not. I, you just like carry it happened. I quit for like five years, something like that. And then uh, like a month ago, I was in Calgary and this character over here, Sean O'Connor, the future, future of, of comedy, comedy, as he yeah. calls himself. <laughs> Never call myself that. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he vapes. Do you know what that is? Uh, yeah, those vape, vapor cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. It's, probably, it's probably not much in a city like this. No, we do way more than much. that here. Yeah. yeah. But, we don't know uh, how to party here. But uh, in Canada, it's considered quite a, a mortal sin. But uh, so I started vaping off his vape uh, thing, which looks a lot like a bomb. Uh -huh. And it makes you very high. It does? Yeah. That's really? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. really high. Yeah. Well, look at Norm. Yeah. What happened to him? I think he was just smoking out of a bong in Calgary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it was vape. We went to a store and we bought it. Every vapor store, you, you buy a big thing. It's very expensive. And then you go to the next vapor store and they tell you, that's no good. You got to get ours. Yeah. And it's really complicated. You have to take a, like a, you have to go to community college to learn how to use it. Right. Things. <laughs> the liquid. But, but, but he's, you've got, probably got one on you. Right? I have one on me. But the person I had, I, I brought one to Canada. And I showed it to the Canadian people, and they were like, oh, you don't want this. It's from China. They, they said it with such disgust. But what's now, the point of it? It's, it's like so it's like smoking, but no smoke? Yeah, it's to quit smoking cigarettes, uh -huh. which I have a horrible addiction to, and I haven't smoked in two months. But now I have all these other uh, illnesses from the vaporizer. <laughs> yeah, because they go, like, they haven't had time to, to know... If, how, how bad that thing. stuff is yeah there's a 10-year trial period but that have we ever, haven't hit have you ever seen this though really i've never seen one no well it, can i see it yeah like yeah. can you inhale can you inhale it no i don't think i want to do that yeah you don't yeah. not okay. with all these diseases i just don't want to put my it. mouth on anything <laughs> that he has well, you mouth inhale, it. it's vapor right it's cold vapor but watch as, as he inhales mm -hmm. and watch what happens this is just vapor you'd expect like steam it's steam that's coming out but huh and it's hawaiian punch flavored Really? That's what I, <laughs> I like wow. all the best cigarettes. Does that make you nervous at all? That the, the, the nicotine flavored liquid that you put in there is Hawaiian punch flavored? That doesn't make me nervous. It's the nicotine that I'm putting in there that's making me nervous because they're like, oh, it's totally healthy. But then when you talk to a doctor, they're like, oh, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the packaging for the liquid I've seen because they're all like nondescript. It's got a label in a different language. And like, don't worry, this one's fine. And I'm like, hey, you sure about that? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent about this liquid nicotine from China. On yeah. the side of it, it says, uh, you know, one of its side effects is that a, a cartoon figure punches you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's to help you quit smoking. So you do that. Yeah, but I and then had but you quit ended up five years ago. So I was... You just liked it. I was using it to start smoking again. And that's why you're just holding an unlit cigarette. Yeah. In your it's hand. not as easy to start as you'd think. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you yeah. think quitting's hard. Jeez. So you need a little help. Yeah. I, start, I started with a patch. <laughs> then I went to the gum and then I went to this vapor thing. And uh, I just think can't I, work up to it. Yeah. And I feel like a fool because every night I, I go like... Uh, are you guys ready to party? By party, I mean smoking. Right, right. And then sometimes people are like, yeah, and I'm like, I'm not ready. <laughs>randomly two times in my life i sat next to him on a plane just that totally so random. Weird. Yeah. Vancouver, yeah. Random at the airport yep once in vancouver and once somewhere else and the last one he was talking about yeah i quit smoking he's telling me how he quit smoking yeah I quit. it was hard it was really hard to quit and i did it and you know fucking smoke it's terrible for you so we land he walks as fast as he can off the plane right into one of those stores and buys a pack of cigarettes and he's opening up it and he's got one in his mouth as he's <laughs> he out went, the door he went off for an hour about how 
how it's terrible for you. He's so glad he's out over it. So I'm outside with him. I go, what are you doing? I thought you quit smoking. He goes, yeah, but all that fucking tough. talking about it, I wanted a cigarette. So was he being funny or was he just a weirdo? No, no, no. He was just a genius. I didn't mean, drive, I think right? His didn't drive. not drive, just invited people yeah. to go do tennis and stuff. So he'd be like, pick me up on the way. His brain was just wired different. Yeah. It was just wired different all the time. But like he just decided, wow, let's smoke. And just, yeah. gr- I mean, he couldn't light it quick enough on the way out the door. <laughs> he anchors the weekend update on Saturday Night Live, and he has recently quit the nasty habit of smoking. Norm McDonald. Norm! <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Come> on, <man. laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, you're a young iconoclast, Norm. You know, the kids, they get you. What? <laughs> I was going to wear a suit, and I... I, 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 I don't need to. <laughs> I like this old D.B. Cooper look for you, man. This is... Now, it, is he it, the guy who jumped out of the plane? No, no. He's married to Alice Cooper. Now, the thing I'm... Uh, <laughs> Remember you wrote for my first talk show? Yeah, you gave me my and first talk. And I used job. to come in the room, and you and Drake say there had no lights on. It was like some fucking <laughs> Anton LaVey Satan cult in there. And you guys used to turn out the sickest jokes ever. And everybody was always smoking. Then I see you on Saturday Night Live during the opening credits. And one of the things I like about you is you're completely unfiltered on that show. You'll say anything. And I saw in the picture you had a cigarette in your mouth. I, this yeah. guy just doesn't give a shit. So I asked you to come on. I find out you pushed out on me and quit smoking. What is that all about? No, because it's bad for you. <laughs> they have these fucking things on the side. You have to read the fine print where it says, it's bad. <laughs> Now, when did you first start smoking? I started smoking as a kid, like when I was, uh, I think I was like 14, and I thought, I'll look really cool, like if I start smoking, because I didn't get along with anybody. So I started smoking. Wouldn't you know it, I did look cool. <laughs> all of a sudden, all these broads like me and everything. <laughs> Not broads, but ladies, girls, women. <laughs> and, uh,. It was hard though, man, because I was I was guilty about it all the time I smoked, because I always thought, you know, I always, thought, I always knew it was bad for me, you know. Like even though some you know some guys will say that it's good because their uncle lived long or something and he smoked, you know, and they'll go, hey, what about you know that old guy, uh, you know, Bert Mustin? What about that guy, you know? And then uh, 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 he just because he lived long, that doesn't mean anything, right? That's just one guy. You can't. Just because Burt Mustin lived long, you're all of a sudden... You did your master's thesis on this, didn't you? <laughs> no, I never now, did people that. bother you a lot when you're smoking? Were people pissed off when... Yeah, people don't like when you smoke, you know? They, they're they bothered, like... I gotta admit, though, secondhand smoke is bad. Like, I don't like... When I smoked, I didn't like secondhand smoke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like that first-hand smoke because you get to suck it right out of the cigarette, you know? <laughs> and the second-hand, any, any fucking thing that's already been ingested by someone is not as good, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I... Like a pork sandwich is delicious, <laughs> but after a, a digested pork sandwich, <laughs> that's fucking shit. <laughs> you know? You can't fight that logic, Norman. <laughs> You cannot? Do you think advertising brings kids to smoking? You know, they've a lot of fight with the Joe Camel thing. Do you think they really? Yeah, they got, no, yeah, definitely they got it. Because the thing is this, the advertisers, they got to go after kids because they're not going to get adults. Like, there's not going to be a 50-year-old guy going, hey, I should start smoking. <laughs> that goddamn camel. Look at him. <laughs> Get little children. Joe Camel. Yeah. That's a frightening looking beast. Is he it? looks like a cock. I, really, <laughs> yeah. I didn't make this up. And I know you don't mind first hand cock, but uh <laughs> You don't know that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I know how this stuff happens, man. Because a buddy of mine worked on Saturday Night Live and he said he was a fag once as a joke. <laughs> And then he said, everybody comes up to him and say, are you a fag? <laughs> gay, man, gay man, I mean. <laughs> but, 
last show about smoking. They thought you meant the British word for cigarette. All right. Uh... Exactly. <laughs> Can I bum a fag? That's what they say in England. <laughs> Where else? All right. Uh, the thing about Joe Campbell looking like a cock, Dennis. <laughs> oh, is, yeah. Is, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me back. Is this. This is what I've noticed. Uh, he, look, he doesn't even look like a fucking camel. <laughs> he looks so much like a cock. Because you know how it's usually subliminal? Yeah. Where you have to find the cock, right? <laughs> this character, you have to find the goddamn camel. <laughs> Yeah, believe me, when you only get two humps out of a cock, it's not worth smoking. All right, now, line two, we've got a phone call for you. Although I can't believe they'd still be on the line after this departure. Uh, line two, we've got Beverly from Middletown, Ohio. Beverly? Yeah, hi, Dennis. Hi, uh, Norm. Hi, you didn't know my name, I don't think. Yes, I did. I, I watched Saturday Night. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I liked it when Dennis was on it. Yeah, I, I watch Dennis every day. Get out of here. You're great at that, man. You're great at this. You know why? Because you don't give a shit about Dennis. You know what I mean? It's like the best thing you can do. Whenever I'd go on, they'd go, what's it like following Chevy? And I like Chevy. He makes yeah, me laugh. I mean, yeah. What the fuck do I think about Chevy? I'm trying to make a living here. Right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. And when I see you, I know you're thinking the same thing. Like, screw Dennis. I'm killing. Okay. Uh, anyway, go ahead. What's your question? Okay, since nicotine is such an addictive drug, do you think someday you'll have to have a prescription to buy a pack of cigarettes? Well, you know, they always bring up the Constitution and talk about how we should still have the right to a militia and all that. But let's face facts, this country was built on tobacco growers. So, you know, if you're going to start changing... If you're not going to change one thing because it comes from way back then, you can't change this yeah. either. There are farmers yeah. out there who make a living. Tobacco is one of the crops that got this country going. So, no, I don't think they'll ever make it illegal. Yeah, no, they shouldn't make it illegal. <laughs> I know, I know. I think I'm... Norm's backing me up on that. Uh, <laughs> what, made it, what motivated you to quit? Um, well, I guess, you know, I guess I was just, I, was, I read this thing about how, uh, it was like a fa uh, uh, phallic symbol, and the, my doctor went in, I said, he said, you probably have an oral fixation, which you know what that means. Let's not kid ourselves, right? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's why I always smoke like cigarettes instead of cigars, because if I'm gonna have a, I like a little white thin cock. <laughs> to take a nice clean call and then I space out I'm thinking I can't listen to Norm for a second I gotta get a time cue here I come back and you're talking about having a thin white cock in your I don't, no I don't have a thin white cock in my cock you mean? <laughs> no in my mouth no no you misunderstand oh, what okay. I'm saying is this I'm just well, saying don't that. make the mistake of thinking I fucking listen to you <laughs> I just want to make it clear about that cock thing <laughs> I was just saying, if I ever was gay, if they like suddenly made it mandatory or something, then I would choose the smallest cock, and I would like a guy that came fast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I thought the subject was cocks. <laughs> no cocks is next week. I'm sorry. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yes, it does. Norm McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. Good to be here, right? Eh? I, I quit smoking. You ever try to do that? Man, that's a tough thing, huh? Smoking ever since I was a kid. I always remember smoking, you know? Remember one time I was a little kid, I was six or eight or ten or something like that, or four or some even number? And I was behind a garage. I was sneaking a cigarette back there, sneaking a cigarette behind my garage, and my dad caught me. I'll never forget it. His big head. I may forget it one day, I don't know, but I don't re I, I remember it now. You never know what you're going to forget, you know? <laughs> Ravaged by syphilis, you know, in your later years, you might remember nothing. But, uh, you never see a guy ravaged by syphilis anymore, you ever notice? No excuse for that. His big head. 
came around the corner of the garage there and caught me. There I was, taking my cigarette. And he hauled me in. I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? What he is, he pulled out his big cigar. Must have been half the size of my arm, this giant cigar. <laughs> Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it all the way through, right to the end. And uh, that's when I started smoking cigars. So that's, uh, that plan didn't work out too good there. Then there was another time I remember, now that I'm thinking about it there. I was behind my garage again. <laughs> As luck would have it. There I was, smoking a big fat joint back there. Yeah. Yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> and uh, my dad's big head showed up again. And he hauled me in. I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? But uh, injected me with heroin. That time, right there. Can you believe something like that would happen? He was a strict man, I'll tell you that right now. He's strict but fair. <laughs> tough but cruel. His toughness was more than offset by his cruelty. Oh, man, but you gotta quit smoking. Hey, otherwise, you gotta be an old guy, and then unhealthy, sick, and everything like that. Although some guys don't. You ever meet those old guys, no matter what the hell they do to themselves? You know, they still grow old. Be the oldest bastard you ever met in your life, you know? I go, every day I smoke four packs of cigarettes. I drink a bottle of Jack Daniels. And I hit myself in the head with a shovel. Every day. I'd like to die. I can't die. I can't die. One time I put a shotgun in my mouth, blew the hole back of my head out. That's just light ringing in the ears. Or something.